supportive and I think it's amazing. I am proud to be part of something a lot bigger than myself. You know, after learning about South African um, artists, South African greats, one being William Kentridge, I mean, if not being the greatest South African artist of this generation and for me being alive, William Kentridge is definitely up there. I'm currently showing art in Tel Aviv and I'm in talks with a, a gallery in Dubai and a couple galleries in, in Europe and hopefully kind of seal up something in the, the United States. My most recent show was called Convivial. The, the word convivial means being happy and joyous. And that's exactly what I wanted to, to bring out in the, in the viewer, you know, or the person buying the work. It's important that they get that good feeling, you know, looking at it. And I thought, you know, using a subject matter and keeping the, the, the same, let's say, a feeling throughout, I went with the, at the opening, the public opening, I overheard a kid look at my work and he says to me, you know, these are just squiggles, I can do that. And I was like, you know, maybe you could. <laughs> Because my, my technique is very loose, it's, it's very free and you know, I don't like to be constrained to, you know, I like my, my work to look real, but I, when you look at it closely it must be very, um, it's wild. When I was a kid I was heavily inspired by South African black artists. That's why originally a lot of my original subject matter was actually African faces or township scenes, even though I hadn't grown up in that environment. Because I was so inspired about these artists like Gerard Sokoto, George Pemba, Ben McCalla, um, I was, I'm still heavily influenced and they still, their style still influences my work today. This was actually the, the piece that that little child commented and said, you know, I can do it, uh, the, the squiggles. And you know, you see, after looking at it, it is a lot of squiggles, but it does make up a bigger picture, you know? It's very loose, it's free. Um, I like to express myself on the canvas and have fun, you know? And this particular style, if you make a, an error, you're able to incorporate that into the, into the work. So this is one of my painted works. Um, it's, still, it's still a medium that I'm really learning and I'm trying to embrace it. And the way that I paint is actually the way that I sketch. So you can actually see in the work, you'll see the squiggles, the paint, the paintbrush strokes. It's very much the same way that I use the charcoal in the work. I try not to make all my works look identical. I want to try to bring out something unique in every piece. So this particular work, I went with a very flat pink background to kind of bring out the, the actual person that's, that I'm capturing. A lot of the time, the, the, the brush strokes go into the, into the background. There's some paint drops that are kind of like still leaky that I don't, I don't take those away because I think they actually add to the piece, you know? And it's just something that happens. I don't look at it as like, oh no, it's, a, it's an error. I mean, you can see some of the water drops that have come down the shirt, yeah. But uh, everything, every little bit adds. I'm inspired by, by the human emotion. When I sketch someone, I always try and capture a feeling that will last forever, you know? And I want people to, to look at my work and almost get that same feeling. You'll see a lot of my pieces are um, happy and they feel good. And I think, you know, in this day and age, there's so much negativity around us that it's important to try and bring out some positive messages. And if I can make someone feel, even if, it, even if it's for a second, happy looking at my work, then I've achieved what I wanted.